Aloha from Kilipohe, Keikani Lahua, Halipohaku. I haven't done an update in a long time, so I thought I'd walk you around and show you what's been going on. Progress is kind of slow, but uh, it is moving along one way or another. Um, big news in the area here is I started removing or cutting down ohia trees for in preparation for the excavator that's coming in the beginning of February. So um, these are all tops of ohia trees that uh, have been cut down here. So you can see a few stumps there and over there. The big one that was helping me with the albizia tree is right there. She's still weeping from it. Uh, this is all, this top right here is all from that one tree. That was a big tree, really healthy. Broke my heart, but uh, around here somewhere, this stake, which goes roughly here, that's the corner of the house, uh, guest room. So we staked all that out. Cut down a bunch of Albi or, uh, Ohia, Ohia trees. Um, all of these ones here, these ones in the foreground, these ones in the foreground, and all of these along the rim of this crack, they all have to come down too. Um, but we're keeping those poles, and this is where they're being stored for now. Uh, have to remove the um, the bark off of them. Apparently, it's easier to do when they're still before they dry out. So, uh, lots of poles. Hopefully, that will be the railing for our um, our holly or in the the back deck. Uh, I don't think there's much else going on here. Um, the cuttings, the first set of cuttings didn't turn out too well, so we did, we've done a whole bunch more here and trying different things. We got a, this one, which is just a stump with some sprouts on it. She put some um, um, rooting hormone on that and put it in the water and maybe it'll keep growing. We'll see. Uh, some of these are not doing so well. Some of them are doing a lot better. Um, we're just trying to keep them moist and out of the sun. Uh, not much else in the holly. Oh, I finished off the first flush diverter for the, uh, for the water system. The idea is that stuff gets trapped in there and then there's a ball that travels up to the top there and shuts it off so water will flow. Uh, down into the thing. We're getting kind of low. It hasn't rained um, very much. It rained pretty hard last night, but I came out here to find we didn't get any water, and uh, it turns out the uh, the gutter was clogged, so I had to go up there with the ladder and clean that out. Uh, this is the gardening station for the ohia trees. Um, big changes inside. Go in there right now. So uh, we have the generator outside now uh, with a, a cord that goes in. I'll show you that. This I just finished today is a little uh, place to put your shoes so they don't take up room on the deck and so that they stay dry. Got some corrugated uh, roofing left over from the roof there. And so you just step up here and Pick up your slippers and put them in underneath the overhang and there you go. Safe and sound for the night. Okay, so on in the room, we have flooring now. Let me turn the lights on. We have flooring, which is really nice. Uh, finally figured out a place, thanks to Haoli, for a place for the um, paper towels. We have outlets, which are wired into the generator right now, but we'll, when we get electricity uh, to the site, we'll have uh, 
don't have electricity there. So there's four outlets there, four outlets here, and four more outlets over here by the door. And so the floor and the, uh, the bed platform, that's an under new thing that has, it's not quite finished yet, but it's uh, built that. And how will I help with that? So that's that. I put the sill in temporarily for Ziggy, which he loves to sit on at night and look out. There's Ziggy. Say hi, Ziggy. And what else? Not much else. We finally rigged up a little way for him to go out of his cat door because he hadn't figured out how to open the um, catio door yet. So I'm hoping this will help him learn how to go out. And then, I don't know if you can even see it, maybe the bike's in the way. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I moved out of one of my storage rooms uh, at the storage place. And, and since we have this area underneath the bed now, we have a lot of storage room underneath there for toolboxes and tools and clothes and different stuff. So a lot of that space is being freed up for uh, other stuff from storage. So we are set there. I don't know what else I could say about it. If you have any questions about uh, how the Holly's coming together or anything else about uh, what we're going on, post a comment and Happy I'll see it. Holly says Happy New Year. I say Happy New Year too. Next week is my birthday. We're going to go to Pohoiki boat ramp, uh, drive down there and check it out. I've also been doing a lot of work on Teddy, my van. He's uh, the, the blower motor burnout and the, the resistor pack burnout for the blower motor, probably because the blower motor was burnt out. And um, windshield wiper motor, and he's all rusty car, van, so that's why. Anyway, that's it from Holly. We'll talk to you later. Aloha.